This is the Podcraft Beer Show for Monday, June 21st, 2021. Episode 49 covers four craft beers, a farmhouse ale, a Mexican lager, an American lager, and an imperial double stout with eight adjuncts. This is the Podcraft Beer Show. I'm your host, Chris. Got your other host, Charlie. Yo, yo! We got tech guy, Steve. Hello, hello, hello. And we got our quality assurance special guest, uh, local celebrity, Grayson. Grayson Lang! Thanks for having me on, guys. This is the second week in a row that uh, Grayson's been a uh, featured guest on a local podcast. Yeah, today. you were on, what were you on earlier? Uh, last year it was with uh, Chris Legumazon from oh. Pure Project. He's cool. just go, working through the Beer Bible. He's doing a uh, monthly book club where we're going through every single style of beer. So, wow, that's yeah, cool. It's pretty cool. It's a lot of fun. I like it. But awesome. now we got him. We are we're super excited to, uh, yeah. to have you here today, Grayson. Walk us uh, walk through some uh, some some beer tasting with us. We uh, we got a couple beers from North Park, a couple a couple lagers, and a uh, we have a. A saison from uh, I think we're gonna start with from uh, Humble Sea, a oh. little Kooks blend. That was messy. That was. Thanks, Chris, for shaking that on up here yeah, on your that's, scooter. That's two days in a row I got Charlie with Gosh. the. Uh, the oh, that was your best bottle, friend. Bottle, yeah. yeah. Nice. And uh, so I guess yeah, we'll just uh, we'll dive right into it here. Man, I I need a bib and a diaper. Good lord, <laughs> that is that was pretty messy. That's going to sound real good on the mic. You're sucking that beer out of the bottle because <laughs> it's running everywhere. Just can't, just can't bring that guy in. We tell you we don't, we don't edit, so we just run it. Perfect. Woo! We're running Baby, it. smells fantastic. So, so yeah, what we have here, uh, so this is 2021. It's Kooks Blend number three. Uh, the, the Kooks Blend is the, the barrel-aged uh, releases they, they put out for, um, for the Kooks Club members at Humble Sea. Okay. Um, so this one here is a blend of Saison's. Uh, aged in agave and bourbon barrels. So there's three different barrels that they, they mix together. Um, I like it. It's always a cuvee of different, uh, they do some really wild stuff for their um, uh, for their, their kooks blends. Yeah, we don't and need then they, to edit. They so. just release 200, uh, or um, two bottles per, per member is, is what you get, and that's it. There's like no, um, no more. Whoa, that's, that's nice. A, I'm a fan that's of it. A good, that's a good beverage, boys. It's a good acid hit, pretty yeah. well balanced. You still get a little bit of the smokiness from the bourbon. It's that cool. is a really good blend. They they send out a, a a tasting card on it that I meant to bring over. I didn't didn't grab it, but it was uh, mentioned on there. Uh, uh, pairs well with El Pastor tacos. Yeah, well, Chris will never eat that. <laughs> never eat them again. Well, this reminds me a little bit of the Modern Times. Uh, that one that they made that was supposed to be uh, El Pastor smoked uh, El Pastor or smoked pi- pineapple El Pastor. They did a um, gosh, what was it? It was a very um, similar smell. Yeah, they did like an El Pastor sour that was mm-hmm. aged in tequila barrels with uh, grilled pineapple. Yeah, it was phenomenal. It was. Pretty I'll take tasty. that every day. Yeah, every this week. is this is very similar, very good though. They're both good. I like them both. So we're gonna hang with that. Yeah, I can't remember what the name exact name of the beer is, but it reminds me head on of one of the beers that they have down at California Wild Ales. Ah, it was like a. It was. I don't know if it's their full time name, but it was called Mango Fett. Yeah. That was really good. I think we tried that one. They make phenomenal beers down there. Yeah. yeah. Have you been at the Have you been to the new one down no, in the OB? Yet. I haven't been to the Ocean. I region. was there opening day. It was amazing. Really? Amazing. Yeah. Had it. The owner, I'm blanking on his name right now, but he lined me up a mega flight of just like one of every single wow. thing that they had on ta- tap. And it was like me and three people. And we were just like, all right, well, let's just. Uh, yeah. Start going through them. Yeah. I was like, wow. There is That's a only so much sour that you can have. Yeah. There is, and they all kind of start tasting the same. Yeah, exactly. we we did uh, something similar. We went to um, their old location up in um, Serrano Valley, Serrano mm-hmm. Valley, and they, um, uh, yeah, I think we did one of each taster. They were, fen- I mean, they're phenomenal. Super small place. Yeah, I definitely. Uh, I'd like to get down to the to the Ocean Beach location. A little, probably it's a little awesome. more picturesque. Really, than, really cool. Uh, they have like a Lego backsplash on like their poor handles, mm-hmm. and they have they went around OB and collected pennies and made like a like floor out of it and then coated it in like clear acrylic or That's whatever nice. yeah so Interesting. It, it feels very ob yeah it, it, it feels it, it fits very yeah. well my buddy last year he actually uh there he donated all of the 
persimmons for their persimmon blend that they do every year. Oh, wow. So, like, his, he's starting a brewery up in uh, San Clemente. Couple like a month and a half. They should What's be that going to be called? Uh, Los Molinos Brewing Company. I like the sound of it. Yeah, the windmill. So mm-hmm. Los Molinos. Yeah, they'll be going after it. So they're just wait, you know, waiting, <coughs> waiting on tanks. Waiting this is on good, tanks. man. This is a great beer. I could drink more of this, Chris. Well, you know, um, yeah. Luckily, I mean, fortunately enough, I believe we have one uh, one bottle left. That's it. Um, good call yeah, yeah so it's a uh, blend of saisons aged in agave and bourbon barrels comes in at five and a half percent nice little nice little cuvee not very acidic though i mean i think that blends really really well together i was kind of yeah. you look at it and you know i'm like oh, agave like i don't know how that's gonna go with the with the bourbon but i think it's just like you said just a, a light little touch not not very acidic um mm. i feel feel fortunate to uh to that one i could on. drink a lot of it's just right up my alley i think what's the horsepower on that where did Five and go? a half. All right. So you could drink a lot of that. I wouldn't necessarily drink it for a for effect. Yeah, five and a half. It's not Berliner level, but it's... Uh, it's not their best label oh. <laughs> that they've ever had. I think they all do they're pretty simple labels for those cute clubs members. You yeah, know, I mean, it's like not them. bad, but I mean, it's just, you know... I think you're used to seeing like all their kind of cartoonish, like yeah. sea-based. Like, right? what, was the, what was the one they did the other day? Um, something... Of whale, whale, whaling or something. Oh gosh, I yeah. love their. I mean, I my favorite have... so far is Kook. I am your fogger. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah, no, best they certainly do name fun. ever. I am your fogger. I will see. I'm a big fan. Okay, we're running over to uh, North Park today for some Festiveza. This is a Mexican style lager, 4.8 percent. It's got a cool looking pinata on the can there, man. So we're gonna run that into there. I'm going dirty. Anybody else? Team Dirty Glass. I'm going clean. Oh. If it's go, if you're going with the lager, I gotta go. Clean. I don't know about that. It doesn't affect me in the same way it does you. You perfectionist, you. Yeah, you know something like that. <laughs> so the so Grayson, um, so you work in the beer industry, correct? Um, the uh, how did how did that uh, how did that happen? How did you um, how did you end up? What's your uh, tell us a little bit about that? How you? Um, did you have a, I have a background in biology and chemistry, so that's what I studied while at university down here in San Diego. Um, and then started working in the pharma industry and just didn't really work out for me. I wasn't super, super interested in see as something I could do for the rest of my life. Um, knew that I really liked drinking beer. I was working in the uh, hospitality bar industry at the time, so I just knew that it was something I kind of enjoyed being around. Ended up going to UCSD for, uh, they have a beer school up there actually, so Met them, and uh, through that I met Doug Constantiner of Society Brewing and just kind of uh, kept on sending him an email once or twice a month for a couple months after I took his class, and then uh, now we're here. Been at Society over, almost, it's almost a year and a half now. Cool. Yeah. So, yeah, started February last year, like two weeks before we shut down, so. Well, yeah, now we're coming back wild. out the other side of it, and yeah. I mean, I was looking at stuff yesterday, and we... I mean, yesterday was first no no mass day in California, yeah. so they were already had a bunch of parties coming in with a yeah. bunch of people. So cool. Yeah, I, I, back stopped, at it. I was at the uh, I played golf today, and uh, there was there was no mass there. And uh, where did they go? Oh, Valley Farms. They still get their sign up, but people were in there without mass. So pretty cool. I, I was like at Windmill it. Farms today getting a sandwich for lunch because favorite sandwich in all yeah. of San Diego, I think. They pretty good sandwich and, over there. Yeah. Oh, really good. Make sure you get a punch card and you get a free sandwich every yeah. six or whatever. Is it every six? Yeah. yeah. Um, but it was this kind of the same thing. It was like 25, 30% of the people weren't wearing masks. And yeah. then it's There's like, going to be the ones that do, do and there's ones that don't. So. Yeah. Right. Yeah. They, um, gosh, where did I stop yesterday that they had a, a sign on the door that was like, um, yeah, if you, oh, I went to um, West Coast Barbecue on Tuesday. Oh, okay. um, and they had, a, uh, they had a sign there that was like, hey, if you, uh, you don't have to wear a mask if you're vaccinated. It was amazing to me. Like 100% of the people that were in there were vaccinated. <laughs> what a concept. Every yeah. single person was vaccinated. I, I mean, I believe it. Right. Where is yeah, this of course. Where, where's this at again? Yeah. Lakeside? West Coast <laughs> Park. Exactly. So I'm hanging out there, you know, all yeah. the time now. No need to get vaccinated when you're around everybody else that's vaccinated. Exactly. Oh, yeah. That's a good one, boys. Wow. That's that was really, really good. good. Yeah, so the... Uh, uh, Carly, what did tea. you crack, dude? The... That's the... Uh, Fiesta Fiesta Vesa. Mexican style Me- lager, yeah. 4.8%. Yeah. 
they do a good job with that. North Park. Kelsey, yeah, Kelsey and the team does a great job over at North Park. I, uh, Willie was helping me out over there yesterday when I picked these bad boys up. It's a good beer. Yeah, that's, uh, that's phenomenal. So Mexican style lager, light, crisp, a little bit of corn, a little bit of corn flavor. Yeah, these are available, folks. You can go get them. So they brewed that uh, the Mexican style lager with uh, toasty Vienna and bready Pilsner malts. Heavy dose of flaked maize to keep the body lean while making it easy to drink. Exactly. Oh yeah. So the um, recently uh, they um, this summer they're um, the San Diego Beer News is doing this thing where they um, uh, they they post recipes from around town like homebrew yeah. summer. So Kelsey actually just posted his uh, GABF winning uh, lager. Right? Really? I didn't see like that. The, uh, I think it was just yesterday. Ah, nice. Because um, I saw that we put up The Apprentice last week. Yeah. Right. So. so you have all these epic breweries around San Diego putting these. Uh, Dropping their I know. I'm like, recipes. I haven't homebrewed in probably six months, eight months. I'm like, now I want to break out all the gear again and throw it throw it together. It's like, I mean. Well, because how great is it that you can, you know, you can make a beer based off of these guys' recipe right. and then compare it to what, like, phenomenal looks like. Right? Yeah. Because like, you're like. Um, giving a GAB. He actually talked about it. It's a great article. I'll, I'll link to it. But um, Kelsey talked about he was um, his favorite uh, Pilsner. I think it was a Pilsner that he put up the um, the recipe for. But he said his favorite Pilsner. He had he had pinged the guy who made his favorite Pilsner, and the guy's like, to make a Pilsner, you got to go to Europe and drink you know liters on liters of Pilsners. <laughs> That's how you know what a good Pilsner is, right? Like instead of being like, hey man, I mean, this is the here's my <laughs> tips recipe. And tricks. <laughs> I mean, you know, so Just he. Drink it. Yeah, he was like, uh, he's like, nothing against that, but this is probably a little easier style for a lot of these guys than go drink gallons of the beer and figure it out on your own. That'll take a while, yeah. too. Sounds like probably more enjoyable, right? Like yeah. the gallons of beer piece. But I mean, I, yeah. If I could go drink Pilsner or Kelf right from the source for months at a time, I'd, I wouldn't be hard-pressed to do that. I could just live in Germany and Europe drinking beverages. That would be my life. It'd be yeah. a tough track. Tough route to get back over here to go off road though. So yeah, I guess you could do off roading over there a little bit here and there. There's not a whole lot. I don't think there's a lot, is there? Yeah, they're not. They frown upon that. Yeah, stay yeah, on the road. You got to go to Russia or something. Yeah, like somewhere <laughs> Siberia maybe. Yeah. <laughs> Stan country. So what do you think of that? It's a phenomenal beer. Yeah. I mean, these guys. I I was just sitting there and they uh, they were pouring. Uh, they were pouring a bunch of drink, uh, small tasters for these gals that were like 20 feet away from me because they were buying like a case of uh, party cup. So they were pouring party this cup. and party cup as they were trying to determine which one they wanted to take mm -hmm. home, I guess. So I said, ah. I mean, it's great summer beer. I mean, so is party cup though. Depends on if you're looking for hops or if you're looking for like the classical, more lo lager style hops that are more of that floral, less citrusy forward flavor i dig them i just dig this i mean i'm i'm a sucker for a mexican lager i think right especially I mean, right now in san diego yeah, yeah no and there's the such high heat, good like we like have really really good yeah. loggers and pilsners around for uh, sure. like yeah, burning beard four puts days up. until it's actually summer here like, <laughs> yeah can't wait <laughs> so you guys so you guys recently uh introduced light beer right yeah, yeah. and that's yeah. a year round right yeah, yeah. it's year yeah. round now yeah, yeah. That's phenomenal. It's, it's great. Yeah, it's super, super Frosted good. Frosted light beer. Yeah. Yeah, because what's that coming at? Uh, it's like under 4%. It's, it's four and a half. Is it 4.5? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It yeah. is so light and crisp. Like, yeah. that's crispy phenomenal. Boy. Yeah, that is yeah, like the epitome boy. of a crispy boy. It's right lawnmower there. beer, man. I'm I mean, telling yeah, you. Yeah, I have drank quite a few of those on my lawnmower back at home. <laughs> but known. I mean, if, when you got a riding mower, yeah, you got to drink go. a beer. And <laughs> it's like, ah, I'm going to I mean, I would do beer. one of those party cups where, you know, you put the two in there with the straws in them. I, got, I actually have one of those on its way in the mail right now because I am... Perfect. on crutches currently yeah, and you yeah, i can't carry that. things so now i can put two beers in the and, and i always got it exactly yeah uh, it's almost like bluetooth beer drinking <laughs> you're gonna have to you're gonna have to send us a picture we have to i will that's I show know. notes man right, so that's ladies. great yeah that's super super good you're uh we're going back to north park and we're going to do a little party cup boys oh wow oh boy that is uh my flavor so there it is the I other, the other side with of this it. obviously this is a great beer i love this yeah. beer this is one of our British Schmaltz's uh, favorite beer. I mean, yeah, I would say. I mean, I don't quote me on that, but no, I think whenever awesome. he gets a drop off, he makes sure to drop at least one off to everybody who's working that day. He's like, "Hey," and it's like, "No, I'm good." He's like, "No, no, no, you, you're not good. You need this beer." Yeah, this <laughs> is like, for you. Thank you, Schmaltz. I appreciate you. 
It's mm. what are we what are we running there? What's on the uh, party five percent? Yep, mosaic lager, five percent. Yeah. Party cut, North Park. You get that mosaic straight on the nose immediately. Yeah. So they yeah. say layered with mosaic, mosaic incognito, mosaic. I will say to you later. We'll uh, we'll after party on the silent end, uh -oh. and uh, we'll talk about it next week. But uh, we definitely could get this on a T-shirt. That yeah, nice. that'd be great. The red <laughs> salt hat. cup and the hat. I have yeah. hot. I have, they have a hot food T-shirt that's pretty dope. Yeah, I have that with the big uh, op yeah. doing his karate kick. Yeah, yeah, that's also a phenomenal beer. Mm -hmm. North Park just, I, I haven't been, I, I don't know if there's a single beer out of there that I've been disappointed. No, they're with. phenomenal. Like, they're lights out. They and have their a, stout on tap. What was it called? Oh, Death most before, before dying. Death. Yeah. And it's it's so good. Yeah. It is so good. I was there, I was there last week. Thanks for the invite. Yeah, most <laughs> or North Park? North, North Park. Park. North Park, yeah, yeah. I was at most last week. <laughs> Flippy floppy. Um, yeah, no, this beer is phenomenal, though. I mean, it has the same sort of drinkability as the Fiesta Vesa. Yeah. But it's just the flavors. Everything is just so different. It, you could not, you could not have completely polar opposite beers, right? Yeah, no. The other one's super, easy super easy. Drinking. This one's a, not a hop water. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's pretty light, but it's still so hop refreshing. Water. Come get your hop water. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So no, super like I mean, just mm. straw clear, right? Like yeah. super, um, super, super clear, super clear. But you definitely get like all of that, all that mosaic, right? Yeah. Like the. Um, but it's not cloying, mm. which is the nice thing. It's like, it doesn't, it's not like just some IPAs and other things. It's just like, boom, here's that, yeah. here, here, here's the hops. It's like, no, it like actually brings out the flavors of the malt bill a little bit more, I would say. Well, they, uh, they, they had a couple, they had uh, two IPAs in there too that I, that I drug home. And one of them's called, you can hang a star on that one. Nice. And that's Jerry Coleman's old line. And then from the Padres uh, announcing crew and then they had what was that one i gave you chris nelson collider nelson collider and let me tell you 10 percent mm. and it's you don't taste no boozy nuts i mean it's it? just, yeah it was an easy drink yeah I mean, it was for, super for tasty i was like oh my gosh this is this is easy deadly. drinking 10 percent yeah all right right yeah yeah right. like i was drinking i'm like man i'm like this is uh this is dangerous yeah like, mm -hmm. it tasted so so tasty that's why i only had one or half a one. We this started. is a little more of the speed of yeah. yeah you that's be drinking, that's uh, you. That's sure. your light speed. You and your your uh, minivan traveler. What is that damn thing called? I don't even know. What the that I'm trying to buy? Yeah, I'm trying to find this Winnebago. Oh, the, <laughs> are you looking for the Winnebago Sprinter? The uh, Rebel. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Those things are nice. He's gonna he's gonna hover land. It's yeah. It's been a nightmare. It's. Uh, <laughs> It's impo like it's in, it's insane what um what like I guess yeah, wait till next summer that's really it that's like what I'm I like, be able to buy these this like <laughs> yeah a, the people I'm, are gonna be tired of them I'm yeah right I mean I, I was like I was telling them I, I think I can rent one today for like the exorbitant pi prices that people want for a rental and it'll still pay off in a year when um hmm. the uh, so we'll see um, I got a couple more fish in the line I got three weeks to. To They're nice. One. Mm -hmm. I like them. Yeah. Well, and you, we're going to give heads up, you know, in a in a in a big round of uh, thank you for your sister bringing you over here. <laughs> yeah, you're not wrong. My sister has been chauffeuring me around. Good recently, for her. So yeah, I don't know. I buy her lunch and things. Yeah, that's there nice. So, Are you guys having decent lover? beers this week? Or Charlie, you had mentioned a few. Um, I mean, I've been drinking a lot of rideshare. Honestly, it's our new uh, collab with Pizza Port that we really. Been yeah, so I really saw good. it. I haven't bought it yet. Really, really good. I was hoping some of you dropped some off for me, but uh, it's definitely a West Coast style. I yeah, it's right up your alley. It's and Pizza Port. I know. I know Seven Talis. Yeah, can't go wrong. I know yeah. Seven's great. Great, great, great beer. You got a bright great, light great on there, dude. Oh, on here? <laughs> <laughs> um, what else have I drank this week? Oh, uh, I was actually, I was at O'Brien's this past weekend for... What'd you uh, get? Uh, well, the better question is, what didn't I get? Yeah, they had a big true. Russian River thing, yeah. right? Yeah, so they had all their Russian River beers on tap. Uh, cool. Drank a lot of Propitation. Their uh, Sour Porter. Mm. Love that beer. Do you? Can't go wrong. Never had that. Porter. What's the deal with that? Is it I, I don't know. Been, I, I don't know it this. Uh, it's not... New, new, but I don't think it's like a classical style. And then, of course, had to drink some Ovation, the uh, Russian River collab with O'Brien's. So, really? Yeah, really wow. good. So I was like, I think it was O'Brien's 25th anniversary or something like that. Yeah. Don't quote me on that, though. Good um, burgers. Good oh, good wings. Yeah, they had a... Uh, 25, yeah. They yeah. had a uh, Pliny the Elder beer cheeseburger. 
Whew. They made beer cheese with. Wow. Wine. I wow. mean, gosh, that sounds definitely. Delish. It just it, it, it it's some it's something glam and glitzy that you're able to be like, oh, I'm eating Pliny cheese right now in San Diego. I know, <laughs> amazing. Hey, Pliny, on tap. I mean, not started off with an STS pills. Of not to bump you off of, uh, so not to bump you off of uh, O'Brien's, but I mean, we love them. Uh, have you been to uh, McElhaney? I haven't yet. <laughs> hey, hey! I know. What are you doing it's tomorrow? Uh, I'm f- flying to Seattle. Oh well, then never. Well, mind. actually, not during the day. So. Oh. <laughs> we fly at night. three. So if you want to get a beer at eleven. Yeah, <laughs> I would love to, but uh, some of us got to hold it down. I think I can arrange it. Hmm. We'll play it by ear. Yeah. The uh, McElhaney's lights out. Yeah, they were good. Uh, I haven't, yeah, I, I mean, yeah, so besides. They're super good. Apart, yeah. the, main, the main thing is I can't drive myself. Yeah, I know so, that. So uh, not not being able to get there. You co pilot. The I know. So we'll get there. Navigate. We'll get there. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I'm super stoked for the boys to be back open again. Mm-hmm. I've heard nothing but amazing things. I kind of like. In the old the, building. Exactly. Kind of like a little bit of the cheekiness with some of the naming and stuff like mm-hmm. that. It's pretty classic. Mm-hmm. Yeah, namesake red. I wonder what. Right. That yeah. Is. Exactly. <laughs> right. Right. No. Yeah. Their their beers were phenomenal. Like yeah. it was super. I felt super excited to be. It felt like you were back in the old pub. Like minus the chicken wings that they had there that were like mm. the best in town. And yeah. Like poutine. Um, oh, you say poutine. Mm. Mm-hmm. That's poutine wicked guy. good. That's one man. of the only reasons I want to go to Canada. Hey. It's poutine. Yeah. I need to try it from the source. There you go. That and I want to see moose. <sighs> Man, I may see Meese. moose after this. What's the plural of moose? Meese. Mooses? Meese? Mooses. <laughs> Moosey. I know, we all Mooses. said meese. Mice? <laughs> Look at this dark loveliness. The, uh, run from the hills. Run to the hills. I'm hitting it hard because it's a big bottle, boys. Oh, oh there you go. So we're going Man. Boss Tycoon from uh, Jay Wakefield. And oh Horace collab. Oh, oh my oh. god! Imperial oh. Stout Ale with vanilla, coffee, macadamia nuts, honey, cocoa nibs, cocoa nibs. Sorry, and coconut. Yeah, I've heard oh. a lot about this beer. Our new tasting room managers pr- actually came look from at all the, field. Look at all oh, the stuff. Yeah. What's his name? Uh, Jack Weiner. Okay. Um, yeah. So the uh, so tycoon. Yeah, oh, that's pretty good, with, man. Uh, uh, Jay Wakefield, like you said, and, and Kyle from uh, from Horace. Look at that! Cool. Look at that! I think this is the third or fourth rendition. That's got to be done coconut a few on different there. Beers together. I actually, so um, I actually picked it. this up in Minneapolis. Like I was really? at, a, at a bar at a <laughs> bar restaurant in Minneapolis, and I looked at their to go bottles, and there was like a the bunch of uh, Jay Wakefield, bunch of like tripping animal stuff from <laughs> are you like a bunch of directors <laughs> <Just director>. from <laughs> South Florida? <laughs> yeah. Just like, you're like, like in Minneapolis, you're like, what are you doing here? So a handful <laughs> of these places, like they, Hello, they work friend. through really small. Um, yeah, and this is like this is like the next level. Um, Ryan actually has a buddy who's That's doing beautiful. the same thing. Is uh, but they're you know reach got these distributorship, small breweries, yeah. distributorship of small breweries, and then these breweries. Uh, have yeah, lunch. look at Steve, <laughs> so man. He's they, digging. You know, they they send up a handful of cases. There's three or four different places that that'll end up uh, putting the same beer out. So um, this thing is it's got. Oh, oh my God! Uh, that's a good combo. <laughs> oh, that hits. Me. The adjuncts. I'm an adjunct junkie. I know so you are. It's just anything with adjuncts. Mr. I mean fruit it. bomb. <laughs> fruit bomb. Yeah, we could fruit bomb. That's really good. Oh my God! Mm. Pretty, pretty tasty. Yeah. A little hint of coconut in there. Is just it, tight. Yeah. It's tight. I mean, that, I'm getting the coconut right up front. Yeah, but it's not too much because I don't like co- coconut at all. I do. I do not. I cannot stand coconut. But Have you had the, good. what is it, Coconut Crown? That is like unbelievably good. No, yeah, it's, it's Horace's Coconut Crown uh, Stout, and it's mm-hmm. all coconut, every type of coconut you can imagine it, put in a beer. They made it with three chiefs. Like, so they it, it is it's, ridiculously it's good. I yeah, mean, we I went out a big coconut I'll leave, it, I'll leave it for you guys. Yeah, you hang out, though. I was going to bring I mean, in coconut I to- stout. I, I, like I got to taste everything. Stout, so yeah. like my mom always said Gotta taste everything. Yeah, at so least these, once. Yeah. These guys did like a, a couple of coconut beers, like Pacific Porpoise and Dade Dolphin. Yeah, mm-hmm. and then they released the barrel aged versions of both of those, mm-hmm. which were very similar to that coconut convergence and, and whatnot. Um, so at some point, we'll we'll pop those bottles. Okay. We had a stout a couple <sighs> times ago, maybe not this last time, but the time before that, where you know the it wasn't as smooth. Like this is so 
it's really got smooth. some yeah. smooth and it's got some. Well, is there's a the difference when when it fills when, your it fills your palate. Like yeah, when Jay Wakefield and Horace are making a, a stout, and then everyone else, basically. These guys, yeah, they do a lot of adjuncts. You know, and recently Kyle's been putting putting out some beers that he's like, hey, I'm not, you know, it's not getting the adjunct treatment. Or it's a really soft adjunct treatment. I think a lot of times he goes really overboard on the adjuncts, right? People are like um, these beers that are just like I like. It's a good thing they don't put like. Um, what is it like the nutritional facts on the side of the <laughs> yeah. Can you imagine do, how much in sugar? Like glucose. The, like you had mentioned before, like <laughs> in, in Canada, do all all of them have the stuff. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. So we uh, I was doing blood. I, I I was doing a blood test, like a monitor thing, and I could drink a pale ale and I could drink an IPA, and then I drank one of the stouts <laughs> you guys gave. Spike. <laughs> what? <laughs> so uh, <laughs> what does that look like? Like I mean, as far as you guys, I mean, I mean, yeah, I, I know all the numbers that we run. Right. Um, nobody no, wants that ever. No, the, he the says sugar, that we won. Did, did we mention that he worked for society? I think, I think yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Grace did. Yeah. Yeah. Um, if we didn't, you did, Charlie. Yeah. So we got Thank that. I mean, now thankful. it's open. I would say, open. thankfully, we don't have a bunch of beers that are super. I mean, we we don't. We're not in the same ballpark of. You guys are more classic, yeah, like exactly. uh, very classical styles. I mean, lots of Belgian styles. Yep. Lots of typical West Coast kind of stuff. Um, I was so excited. So you're not doing adjunct no. stouts, right? No. You got the butcher, no. which is we got phenomenal. we got the butcher, which is our only stout, and yeah. then we have pugilist, which is our porter, and and which is good. Yeah, which is good. But I mean, I, mean I, I there's definitely things I would like to mess around with, especially like with our sour and stuff like that. I think that leaves uh, that's a really blank canvas that we could do a lot of stuff with. I um, mean, but the, the fact of the matter is, is that uh, during COVID, you guys stepped up and busted out with new beers that. Yeah you excuse me hadn't done before and then canned all of those beers which was awesome yeah we're doing our best we're kept doing our me best. alive <laughs> i know had to make regular stops over at uncle chuck's house <laughs> and it was well worth it hey now we're here yeah but yeah it was uh i, I was so happy to see the the new beers coming out and uh, the, the can line which was awesome i mean yeah. and you know constantly during, evolving yeah during covid when Everybody was shutting down. The smartest breweries jumped on the can lines mm -hmm. and just started putting it out, you know. Thankfully, we already had it kind of. Yeah, in, I don't think it was. It, yeah. we, it, we had it in play, and who could have, and nobody could have called Predicted COVID it happening. Right. Way. So, right. Just yeah, it worked out. Yeah. yeah, no, I mean, I think, like, um, you guys had shifted like that. Yeah. North Park did the same thing, yeah. right? Because they mean, were set I'm up. I'm sure like Mobile a, West did amazing. Like, I mobile can imagine. companies, I can't imagine how right. gangbusters they did yeah. last year. Right. Like, right. I mean, we, even we still use them. Like, right. They probably hired two extra people, at least. I, at least. <laughs> <laughs> at least. 75 people canning beers a day. Yeah. I mean, I know even Ailsmith uses Mobile West yeah. still for, like, all of their sour runs and stuff like that. They don't want to put through their main system. Yeah. Yeah. So, mm. it's... Uh, Cans are cans yeah. are new form. I I was I was reading a uh, article the other day actually about like, can we go back to bottles please? <laughs> and it's like, I mean it was it was just an interesting standpoint. Mm -hmm. It's like, there's all these people who have all this equipment and bottles ready, but cans are what's selling. So it's like yeah. we're gonna drop another mm -hmm. such and such amount of money. To and make twenty two cans. ounce bottles is what oh, they have. bombers. Yeah. Gosh, yeah. Like the I I look at my fridge right now and I have like oh, tons of bombers. Stupid amount of stout bombers right where i would love to have all of those in cans yeah you know like where i could do a 12 ounce can and like i don't want the rest of that like look at those bottles like yeah those I'm are big and by myself you those know are big i mean you can yeah you can yeah it's but uh, better share with friends i know yeah <laughs> sometimes you just want that 12 ounces of butcher and that's all you need for the night oh i would concur i like it i like it a lot actually yeah so um that is a big stout dude though. it's a time Oh, it is okay. Yeah. That's a big stout. So the uh, if I were to guess, though, I mean, so to put things in perspective, I know of people who have gone backpacking on nothing but speedway stout and been fine, especially with, it, with like because with, there's just so there's, much. Yeah, like they'll like, drink like three sp speedway stouts a day, and that's their caloric yeah. intake for the day. What? Like, I mean, it's not. It's not. What kind of life not, is that? I mean, it's low weight. <laughs> yeah, it's not only, yeah. yeah. I, I brought, you know, the like when I've hiked Mount Whitney the last couple yeah. times, I brought like sticks um, of butter. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Right. <laughs> so the, um, I, I, 
uh, I had actually brought a couple of beers. The first time I was too sick to pop one, and then I carried that beer the next time. Yeah, we all died. It was like a year you. later yeah. when I when I did it the second time and made it up Thank there. I was God, like, I'm gonna have a beer, die. and then I was like, I had been carrying this beer for like ten hours. Yeah. It was all warm, <laughs> and it had been in my backpack like a year before. He right? just showed so like, it. That's gonna be terrible. Like yeah. it, I still have it. At some point, yeah. I'll pop it, but. Um, mm. It's like an IPA from, uh, you know, <laughs> 24 <laughs> years old or whatever. I'm getting sick just yeah. thinking about it. Um, but the, I haven't been it's able to like pop a beer. Nice. I need to have something like Party Cup when you get up there. Yeah. yeah. I always end up bringing like like a Monster Park, a can of Monster Park. And you get up there and you're like, it's 90 or it's 80 degrees. Yeah, I want a stout. Mm, nothing like a Monster Stout. <laughs> like, you know, they're going to have to helicopter me off yeah. if I drink this thing. I know. That, is, that reminds me, one of my bucket list things is to drink a Rainier on Rainier. There you Ooh, go. Ooh, I like that. Mm -hmm. Gee, what if it, what would I do? Well, I've done it all, so. Well, there you go. <laughs> nobody, can, nobody can be you, Chuck. No. Nope, can't. Nobody can Not be you. Not today, at so, least. Gents, we, uh, looks, you know, so we popped uh, four different beers here. We, we did that Kooks Club, blend three from this year, the Saison that had been uh, uh, agave and bourbon barrels. Uh, the, the two different lagers, the Party Cup, the Mosaic Lager, the, the Fiesta... Yes, the Vesa, yeah. the Mexican lager, uh, and then followed up by the by the Boss Tycoon. Charlie, what did uh, of those three? What's your favorite beer? Um, can I split them up? <laughs> well, let's split it up, Charlie. It Charlie. always has to be difficult. Uh, if I'm at a party and I want to drink something, I'm going to go with the Kooks. If I'm working in the yard or something on the house <laughs> or something, it's going to go either of those lagers and uh, late night stout. Yeah. That's my that's my go-to. The stout is phenomenal. It's it phenomenal. Smells, but I yeah. still think I'd go party cup all day. Do you? Party cup all day. Oh, I would I'm too, with, but on I drink thing. 12 of those and then drink that at night. So this, like that kooks blend was phenomenal, and I'm glad that I got to, like, I'm glad that I got to try it. Yeah. But, like, I, you know, um, and, and I really like Boss Tycoon, but I don't think there's anything overwhelming on that compared to his other beers or mm. Jay Wakefield stouts or whatever. It's yeah. a good clo collab. You put, that, you put that party cup to your mouth. And I'm a huge West Coast guy. I love the hops. <laughs> like the, mm -hmm. So you give me a, like a 5% beer that tastes like West Coasty, like perfect. I'll all drink that thing all day long. Damn yeah. day. So I, I'm with I'm with Grayson on that. Party cup, I think, mm -hmm. takes takes it for me today. I just, that, That's kind of how I'd describe a phenomenal beer, the beer that I can drink two or three of them and still f find something new or just continue to if i'm gonna pick one if i'm gonna pick one though i think it's gonna be the humble sea that's the way that's the route you would go mm -hmm. that was phenomenal it was super, it's a great beer that was especially compared to our yeah. last kooks blend which yeah, yeah. wasn't really a style yeah, yeah. it was yeah. a barley wine didn't yeah, jump out blended much. barley wine yeah. you know which is the other end of like yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah i think i think when we do the question it's like which one are you be on the deserted island with and then it's then it's party cup, <laughs> yeah well right? it's no <laughs> because it's like if i'm gonna drink this for the rest of my life that's right it. but the boss tycoon i mean it was party cup in my head, I'm going, oh, which one do I like better? Yeah, but if through. you're stranded on an island, you want that bottle washed ashore at some point. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> no, that's no phenomenal, though. That's really, really <laughs> good no as far as, like, the sip. And then you need I to put the note in. Yeah. It's difficult, though, you know, because mm -hmm. it's on the hotter. It's been hot recently, so it's difficult, yeah. you know, when it's 90 degrees. Yeah. You pop and California mm -hmm. heat wave, 11 baby. and a half degrees. Yeah, yeah, but it's perfect when you got four guys. Right. Three, yeah, that's a, that's an easy bottle with four people. For sure. And I like it because it's got all those adjuncts. Which What's makes, the percentage which on that again? 11.3, I think. 11.3? That ain't bad. 12. Huh. 12. Oof. Still there. We're used to 15, 16, 14. So. But I like that all the adjuncts screw up that Apple um, iTunes thing because it's too long. Of a <laughs> 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 Got to type it in. Awesome. So there it is again. Grayson, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me on, guys. Your knowledge. We'd, uh, we'd love to have you back. Charlie. You know where Here to find is. me. Cheers. Cheers. Well, I sincerely hope you enjoyed today's show. If you'd like to subscribe to the show via your favorite podcast player app, then head over to thepodcraft.com and look for the subscribe links. You can also get all the links mentioned in this podcast, pictures of all the beers, and other good information at thepodcraft.com. The site also has links to send us email feedback and to connect with us on social media. In closing, please continue to recommend the Podcraft Beer Show to your craft beer friends and family members in your life. The more the merrier. Thank you so much for sharing your time and attention with us. For Chris and Charlie, this is Tech Guy Steve signing off for this week's The Podcraft Beer Show. Have a great rest of your day.
PodCraft show is licensed under Creative Commons Attribution, Share Alike 4.0 International. All rights reserved 2020 through 2021. The show is produced by AztecMedia.net. If you have questions, then please email thepodcraftpodcast at gmail.com. Fair use notice. Reference material and media have been placed within this medium for informational, educational, and discussion purposes only, and compliance with fair use criteria established in Section 107 of the Copyright Act of 1976. It should also be noted that the opinions expressed on this podcast are those of the participants and are not endorsed by the participants' previous, current, or future employers or advertisers. You still here? It's over. Go home. Go.